You ain't living in Brooklyn now. You in my house, and I got to pay the electric here. Well, I know, I know. You've been reminding me ever since I got here. As Soon as I get me one more day's work, I'm gonna pay you. Well, till you get it, keep the radio off. I thought that's why you was taking in this new room you got, to help pay the rent. That is why. Just don't seem right. You ain't never talked to me. Ain't never said nothing about taking in no room. I didn't have to talk to you. These are hard times, Quilly. Got everybody down at the church just a talking. I talking. don't care what everybody down at the church is just talking about. Ain't nobody down there paying my rent. And it keeps going up. When Mrs. Shivak moved to Florida, I lost three days' work. That left me only Mrs. Langbaum, which wasn't enough. And then you came. I gave what I can. I didn't say you didn't, Quilly, but you know with this war going on that white folks ain't hiring us like they used to. And good apartments are hard to come by. That's what I'm saying. Where is he gonna get the money to pay the rent from? He ain't got no job. Just try and be nice to him when he gets here. All I'm saying is why'd you have to take a man? For all you know, he might be one of these card-playing, corn liquor-drinking, womanizing mill workers. Cow still on the telephone. I couldn't even get through to Miss Ann to tell I wasn't coming to work today. If I had gotten through, I was gonna call the police about you. Don't do that again, Quilly. I'm a grown woman. I'm not a child. Well, so don't, don't talk to me like that. Act like I'm one. Woman. I was worried about you. I didn't know if you were in the hospital or laying up somewhere dead. I leave you alone, sitting in the dog by the window, and I wake up and you're gone, he's gone. I didn't know what to think. I went out. And I don't have to ask your permission to go out. At 2.30 in the morning and it's 8.30 now? I went out. We went out and we ate. Ate what? Pig feet and frog maw? <laughs> After all these years, all of a sudden, you worried about me. You don't know nothing about this man. For all you know, he could be a rapist or something. Well, unless something's wrong with him, you and me ain't got nothing to worry about. Hmm. Speak for yourself. Oh, shoot. You don't cook for your rumor. That boy's been eating here every night this week. Well, I've been buying extra, so I've been cooking extra. Yeah, but has he been giving you extra? Maybe he has. That's a common thing to say, Quilly. Too old for that boy. Too old to be running around here trying to pop your little fingers and run in the street like one of these little teenage gals. You should have heard yourself on the telephone. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> that ain't fair. You forget about that Lou Bessie? Hmm? What about that Miss Charmaine? What about her? Oh, just going out to eat, huh? I must seem straight. Yeah, they straight all right, but you need a girdle on. Then again, forget it. Can't nothing else fit in that dress. Oh, Quilly, why don't you hush up all this foolishness? It's because of you I don't have a family. You ain't been living back here a month good and already. You starting your mess, I'm not going to have it, Quilly. After all I've done for you and all you've done to me, you go rub it in my face again. You want to continue living in this house? You better take yourself in that thing and get out of my sight as fast as you can. I mean now. Fast. Now! You stop going to church. You start wearing tight-fitting clothes, staying out all hours of the night, hanging out in beer gardens, drinking champagne. Next thing I know, all kind of filth gonna be coming out of your mouth like Lou Bessie. That's what you're trying to do, is be a Lou Bessie for him. What is it? If I was a man with a woman half his age, you wouldn't be making such a fuss. You ain't a man, and neither is he. It's a mama's boy looking for a new mama. You fit the bill. That cricket brain, Lou Bessie, ain't what the chicken's left. But sad as it might seem, she is the woman in his life. You just the new mama. I'm not going to the program because husband's taking me out to eat. Bess, what's wrong with you? There ain't nothing wrong with me. We're just going out to eat. That boy needs to go to church, confused as he is, and that's the God's honest truth. And they serving dinner at the church. Y'all can eat right there after. No, we can't because he's taking me someplace special. Where? I don't know. It's a surprise. Yeah, old husband just full of surprises. He gonna surprise you good one day. You mark my word. He did. You was my sister. It didn't matter whether he loved me or not. You was my sister. Dad? If I hadn't come, you'd be staying in this place alone with some strange man that you don't even know. 